You know, I've been getting a little tired of his hints being so vague. I'm gonna go talk to that man and freaking ask for some clarification. Yo, do you... I have no idea what you mean by under the weather vein. Oh, God, oh, please. Uh, you don't need to know about that. Also, I realized I stole a blooper here. I should probably place over here for you. It's more bigger. Squints are the hot new things with kids today. Oh, God, no. He put head time my home. Get the fuck out. You'll be fine. Five. He's not going to fucking help me. I have to figure it out myself. What do they say? Something about under the weather vein? Like, what? You think I can just fucking push this thing or something and actually get it to... ...move? Huh! Neat! Well, I guess I'll at least go in since I opened it. Sure, why the heck not? And we have a... ...dead... ...thing? Well, we do have that new song I got from the Frog Song of Soul. A soul melody you learned from Mamu. It's something about the soul. Even though it's not really a song of the soul genre, don't worry about it. Oh, look! A soul. Give that chicken your soul. Alright, well, that worked out well enough. Well, anyway, welcome back, everybody, to Rise to Play Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. This is your host, the MJ406. Whoa! The rooster has recovered! He seems very friendly. And we revived a giant. Blue rooster? Um, uh, okay. Alright, whatever you say. Because I guess this is what we're supposed to do now. Well, I have a giant rooster now, so that's something, I guess. Oh, by the way, I'm writing a few more rupees off screen so I can buy another chamber stone. So, yeah. Go through that rapid. The uh, river rapid is actually. Probably the best way to grind rupees, because if you know how to go the ideal route, those with that freaking the hook shot, you get your money back so fast. Well, before I go to where I need to go, I should probably. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything here. If there's something going on. Yes, like the fishing game. Ah. Hey, rooster, mm. you want to act as bait for me? <laughs> Because I think it can be very helpful for me, if you actually feel like helping. Oh, we got a big cheap cheap, and we have whatever the hell that is. Um. Well, I guess I'll start with the cheap cheap since it's right there. Oh, boy. Right, I gotta keep hitting up so it stays upward so the fish can more likely grab it. Oh, what the? Ah! Hey! How dare you ignore it! How dare you ignore it, you piece of shit! This was meant for you! Oh god. Oh man! Wow, he's very volatile to getting off. Son of a bitch! Really need to catch that thing! Ugh. Oh. Right. I guess all I can do by freaking pushing left is just. Encouraging it to stay out there. That's all I can do by hitting left. Oh, man. Oh, come on. Fine. I hate when these guys ignore my fishing line. I hate when I keep screwing up catching the cheap cheap. Well, I always have to make sure I actually get better at catching these fish. Especially. I have to wait forever for them to actually grab on! Uh, God. The shake of that fishing line just scares me every time. Oh, Jesus Christ. I guess I can always hold A, the very least. Make sure it doesn't get the opportunity to really get away. I think holding A might be okay, but... Yeah. I really gotta not reel in when they're pulling away. If I do, that's when they're able to break off very easily. Yes! There we go! Look at this big motherfucker! Yeah! Wow, lots of people say they caught old bear, but you actually did it! Oh, sorry! Oh, for five to seven inches, a big one, wait a real bit! Oh, blow me down! He's never released hundred rubies for that! Is this something caught in old bear's mouth? A chamber stone? Really? There's a chamber stone in there? 
This is the first time you landed one of the sites. Oh, look, it's like the occasion. Secret seashell. And you gave me a seashell. Well, all right. That works out. Let me at least change my lore so I can try to catch up. Oh, uh, right. It's not a cheap cheap here right now. Hmm. Well, in that case, I'll leave and see if one will come back. I do want to catch a cheap cheap eventually. Oh, damn it. Well, he's got a big guy. Got another chamber stone for my trouble. And I even got a freaking seashell. Oh, it reminds you, I actually know where a lot more seashells are. Now, before I go, <laughs> I still have more I need to do, guys. I need to make these villagers happy. Marin and Terra have run off, I've noticed. I haven't seen them in a while. Ooh, a shy guy. Oh, uh, would replace the frickin' purple rupee. It would. Well, I have a better way of grinding money anyway now, so I don't even need to worry about the frickin', um... Yeah. I don't even need to worry about myself having money troubles. Oh, god, it... I hate that it's even rolling away right now. The fact it rolled away is even more insulting. Oh, Jesus. Really discouraging me from actually wanting to get this thing. Uh oh. No! That's something else annoying I've noticed. It looks like if the claws actually touch something, they stop there. It's like it's a safety feature. What, you don't want to bend the fucking thing? <laughs> no, dude, I'm paying the money to play this. The least I can expect is that you allow this machine to treat me fairly and actually do what I told it to do. What kind of person creates something technolo technological and makes it impossible to be used right? Look at this. How are you going to expect me to grab this if you made it so rigged that I can't even get it out? <sighs> Fine, have it your way. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it. Because I can't get a good grip on it. In fact, it fell out, ruined everything. It's worse than the friggin' seashell! God damn you, shy guy, you bastard! Fine. That's who you're gonna be. I'm gonna leave, come back. I hate it when they friggin' rig this thing to work the way you want it to, you dickhead! I'm gonna time warp till I grab it. Because I am not gonna yeah. show everybody me, show everybody how much I love wasting money. Just get one fucking Mario action figure. I think this is a Mario action figure? I mean, it's one way to put it, I guess. But the fact that you can so easily slip out. Or, it could actually immediately get caught like I wanted it to be the first time. Man, I think it's really freaking big, though. Hey, I think you wanted. Wow, it even came out standing up. Here we are! You got a shot guy figure! Just don't ask what's underneath the mask. But that's the fun in it! What's the point if I don't ask what's underneath the mask? Alright. Alright, after this, I gotta go ahead to the mountain. Also, I do happen to know where more seashells are. I do want to kind of discover those for you guys, so... Yeah, I'd rather get seashells now if I could help it. But before that... I got a shy guy for you guys. If you really want it? Here you go. Oh, Papal's back, too. I haven't checked out this place in a while. The shy guy figure. The eyes are holes, but... I can't see anything inside. You don't want to know, man. Ah, the poor boys are looking like you and I can get confused sometimes. I bet so. Ah. Have you guys say thanks again? Yeah, you're welcome. I'm glad you got to feed. Now leave me alone. <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you. Yeah, yeah. I did. I don't want you to say thank you. I want you to leave me the fuck alone and let me go back to what I was doing. <sighs> well, at least now I have this giant rooster. Which, I guess, will help me up here? I don't know. Well, let's go. Come on, friend. I'm expecting you to be very helpful to me in my time of need. Climbing up the mountain. I don't know exactly what a giant rooster can do, but... <laughs> well, I'm sure there's some reason it just happened to be hanging out of the weather vane. And they happen to have a freaking weather vane that's very based off of rooster? Oh god no! Stalk around! God damn it! Oh! You think I got a pair of birds like me? I don't even know how to respond to that. 
Hoot, hoot! Your path is not easy. We are almost there. Go east. The windfish is getting restless. Getting tired of your shit. Hurry up and get to the end of this game already. I'm working on it, okay? I know I've been playing like shit lately. I've been trying to get better, all right? Jeez. That windfish is gonna start mocking me. I don't care if you are a god or not. I will fuck you up! <laughs> sorry, perhaps I'm getting a little carried away. I'm sorry, I don't want a god mocking me. I'm trying to do my best to help everyone out. And you're gonna come and start talking shit. <laughs> Fucking stalker owl, I will end you. Come down and fight me. I'm not afraid to kill a bird. I'm not afraid. I wish I could kill this bird. Cuckoos are a completely different matter, though. I can't kill them, so they live. <laughs> Besides, they have a much easier time killing me than I would killing them. Yeah, yeah I keep forgetting we haven't explored a lot of this place yet. Because I've kind of ignored a lot of it. Like, ah, get away from me. Yeah, this whole cave there I haven't gone into yet. I mean, there is also here. Oh, right! I forgot. I guess I never did try to... Ah, damn it. I forgot about that hole. Not... All right. And... God damn it, I really suck at throwing. I need to throw and break the hole. No! No, Rooster. There we go. Got it. I had a feeling. Yes! Yes! You found a secret seashell. Man, how do they hide in these holes anyway? Did somebody put these in here, or were the tides, like, so intense in this place they happened to get in? Huh. Look at all these friggin' heads flying around. Wow, amazing! That rooster's actually flying! It's just like I said, eh? Have you tried to hold him above your head? Clack, clack! Um, I never have, actually. I never actually thought about doing that. Oh! You can actually fly with them! Well, that's neat, and then I can throw! <laughs> Good! I'm so glad you got me over this gap! Don't die! Yeah, because that seems like the reasonable thing to do. Although... Ah! Woo! <laughs> I thought it would be fun to at least try to fall. Another one! Oh! Right here! Ow! Great, right, the bugs are guarding these things, too. Just what I wanted. Oh my god, I completely forgot I was talking about trying to talk about, like, dungeons from previous Zelda games. Eh, I shouldn't worry about it. Ah, look at that. Over there is where the, uh, next dungeon is, I guess. Alright, so it's actually pretty close. But how do I- Oh! Cave. Right. I should at least check there. <laughs> that would explain a lot of things. It's the only way I can think of me getting over there. Not that I would know sh for sure. Oh, good lord. What the hell is happening here? Uh... Well, whatever's happening here, I don't really like it. So I'm gonna get all these alleyways ways so I can easily walk across. Thank you. Seriously, do these people worship these birds like gods? I mean, I guess. Oh, god! Is this what I need you for? Well, shit. Good thing I decided to get you first. Listen, old Ryo really saved me some time. You got the bird key! Well, isn't that nice? Oh, I never noticed! You can actually see all the keys in even the dungeons down here. See, tail key found deep inside the mysterious forest. Slime key, a reward for Richard for finding his precious leaves. Angler key, won in combat out in the yard of desert. Base key, retrieved from the ancient ruins. And now the bird key, gained with the flying rooster's help. I forgot you always look at all this stuff. Full moon cello. A cello produces a pure, clear sound. Contorn, a horn that resounds to the depths of the ocean. See, Louis Bell, a bell that sounds like a refreshing tone. Surf harp, a harp that reminds the listener of the waves. Wind marimba, marimba that resounds profoundly. And coral triangle, a triangle that rings out jauntily. I'm so glad they're all so happy to be what they are. Now, can we get back over that gap? I'll say, there's definitely no ability I could have gained that would have allowed me, allowed me to fly over this. Yeah. Like, friggin', like, the hero of this game to be able to get the friggin' cape feather. Uh-huh. I know there's a lot of Mario references, but even that's pretty out there. <laughs> the cape feather. 
Well, either way, I did manage to get the key, so now I can make my way over to the next place. Now I need to wonder how the heck I get over there. I mean, hey, I'm glad I checked this out first. Actually, if I remember, it was down there, wasn't it? Yeah, I was trying to think of, uh... I think I remember last time I was trying to talk about, like, dungeons from, like, other previous Zelda games, I kind of got stuck on Wind Waker. Well, then I kind of got lost in track of time because I was dealing with the face shrine. But, uh... Yeah, what did I say for that last time? It was that my favorite dungeon was, uh... The, uh... The... Dragon Roost Islands, uh... Cavern, the, uh, mountain area? The volcano? I still think that was pretty good. And my least favorite was probably the, uh, forest. The Korok, uh, forest place. Because I'll admit, that place was definitely... Boring. Well, that one dungeon you had to, like, open up in the Great Sea was also kind of, eh, if I remember. The one you actually had to sail the King of Red Lions in the opening segment. Hey, it was only that opening segment was kind of annoying. And the escort stuff was kind of weird, but at least it was still, like, fine. You had to kind of go with puzzles to actually get that statue thing from one side to the other. You are near the Eagle's Tower. Beware of the bird. Oh, right. It did tell me to go to basically a tower, right? Alright, I guess we're nearby. Oh, right! Went down that hole before! That's what I did! I went down that hole, and all that did was basically take me back to the, uh... To near where the, uh... The fourth dungeon was. Right, right, right. The Angler's Cavern or whatever, right? I'm not gonna lie, it's kinda hard for me to remember the names of a lot of these levels. Cause they kinda... I don't know they blend together. Ooh, look at that! I see a freaking portal, too! Oh, good! If I can get there, that'll save me a lot of trouble. Uh, I hope it's as easy as it looks. I really hope it is. Ah! I am such a dick to these creatures, I just realized. Then again, they deserve it. They keep trying to kill me! Ah! I don't really feel sympathy for them, honestly. If they want a battle, they get a battle. That's how I feel. They must die if that's how they want to go about it. And they think they can handle me. Well, no worries. Yes! Well, good. Now I can teleport back here without any real worry at all. Eastern Townsville Mountain. Ooh, also, Kate! Try to remember the other dungeons from Wind Waker. Oh, yeah, there's pretty much just a. The Spirit Temple and the, uh, Forest Temple, I guess. Which... Yeah, Forest Temple's kind of okay. That one can get a little obnoxious, especially with that big central room. But honestly, the, uh... Spirit Temple's definitely another good one. Like, yeah. Honestly, it's only those fo two forest ones I'm kind of eh with for that game. The dungeons for that game were pretty magnificent. Then again, they did carry, like... A couple of those ideas over when they're working on Uru Zelda previously. Still wish we could have had another dungeon from inside the, uh... The thing you got the one, uh... Stone from. I kind of wish they could have brought that in Wind Waker HD, but I guess they wanted to stay more faithful to the original, so they didn't do that. Oh, well. I thought it would have been a nice idea either way, so... <sighs> to dream. To dream, I guess. By the way... Here we are! We have our way to the next dungeon! The Eagle's Tower, I suppose. I guess that's what we'll be doing like next time. Because knowing me and my luck, I'm not going to take my chances. Oh god, I forgot about that! Oh, they can let you leave immediately, too. At the very least, I can immediately warp back over there, so... I'm not worried about that at all. Not at all. Oh, god damn it! Oh, sweet, you can get me out of the water, too? Or at least you can help me... <laughs> Not have to swim. Oh, neat. If only you get me on land more easily. Oh, actually, I guess technically you can. So thanks for that. Now, since I actually have some time, I think I'm going to go and find a lot of the seashells I left behind because, well, I realized that there are a lot of seashells I could have acquired. I want to hit 40, because I think it's going to lead me to the next item I need. God, I hope it will. 
But yeah, I'll admit, I did spend some time wandering around, because I, honestly, I'll admit, I've been kind of ashamed of some of my gameplay lately, like, uh, going through level 5, I've realized I need to improve. Like, I cannot just blindly wander through to the point where I just play like ass. So basically, I did a little research for some things to help speed things up. I mean, I kind of got some lucky guesses for getting to the next level, which honestly I'm happy with, but I actually decided to go out my way to look for where some of the seashells were. So that way, I get a lot more of these and speed things right along. Because there's a lot of them I probably could have gotten already. And I want to make up for lost time and gather those things. So that way, there's a lot less grinding we have to do later on in the game. Besides, I think I get a really good reward if I find most of the uh, seashells. I, I want to say that's how I get the upgraded sword. I got one in that cave at least. And there's actually another seashell I think I left behind. This way? No, I think it's further back to the left. I do want to go back to the Ow! village anyway. God damn! How strong is this fucking rooster? Well, as long as it's not trying to kill me for going after its own kind, that'd be the worst kind of rooster for me to deal with. See, this one just hanging out about here in the forest. That would have been very good for me to obtain earlier. But apparently, I never pay attention to that shit. Oh, good. And now I'm officially at 40. I can finally go to Siege Shell Mansion. And I can finally get the next reward. I swear to God, if it's a chamber stone. <laughs> I keep forgetting to keep adding chamber stones for extra things in this game. Not gonna lie. It's a little obnoxious. No, my power! I wanted my increased power. You son of a bitch! I want my power back! Whatever. I found more of your useless seashells! You must be like the Storm God or something. How else can these seashells wind up in so many friggin' places? Raise your sword overhead. I shall grant you new power. Oh, wait, we're getting that now? Oh, shit! I think you need all the seashells in the original Link's Awakening for this. Well, you got the Kohen Sword! You should put your name on it right away. You raised my name on it, you son of a bitch! Who else do you think you are? A Kohen Sword, a finely crafted sword you presented with at the Seashell Mountain. See, I've now got an upgrade sword, and... Oh, oh! It's twice as strong and fires a beam at full health! Oh! Yup. Yup! Looks like you get 40 seashells. You get an upgrade sword. Oh, baby! Oh, this is beautiful! This is beautiful! Oh, 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 oh. oh yes! Finally, ultimate power is mine. Well, it certainly makes things easier. So I will gladly hold on to that. Whee! I also forgot a hole I could go into here. For, guess what? Another fucking seashell! I mean, I'm so close. It looks like 50 is the number this time. I wanted to say the number of the original game was like 24, maybe? Uh, I can't actually verify that at all. I can't verify if the number is actually 24. Now you can look it up. God damn it! I don't want to look it up. It makes me feel like an idiot. You're not. You're not changing anything. <laughs> you're not changing anything. I hope you realize that. People already think you're an idiot. I mean, I guess you're not wrong. But screw you anyway. Tell your tell yourself to screw yourself. I will wear that. Hey! You got rid of my sword beam, you son of a bitch! Okay, so it is just twice as strong. It's not just the sword beam. We have just a reminder. With the colon sword, you now have your basic gum. Um, Legend of Zelda 1 slash Link to the Past ability. At full health, you get a sword beam now. You make a lot of things easier. See, so yeah, basically this is like your Master Sword equivalent of the game. So, you know. Enjoy for what it's worth. All right, now where is this one? Oh, right, there's a rock in the middle of all this. Who would have thought it'd be so easy to find it? It's just behind a fucking rock. Also, if I remember correctly, is there somewhere I could go in here, Martha's Bay? 
Oh, the mermaid's still there. I haven't talked to you in a while, miss. You know, it's what says me to pose for him if you want his skill, too. And the legend of the magnifying lens be true. Oh, you're talking about that other gator? Don't tell me he's been the one trying to draw your beauty and failing miserably. <laughs> I just let her know that he's been drawing a monstrosity. He does not know how art works. <laughs> oh, how mad you would be if you saw his artwork now. Oh, how mad you'd deservedly be. Where's the other one I'm trying to remember? Damn it, I don't remember the other seashell is. But yeah. I need to get a lot better at trying to discover where everything is. So I've been trying to at least explore a little bit while I was grinding money to try to see if I can more easily find the last one I need. Because I do not want to have people struggling trying to watch me do basically anything. Oh, okay, I wanted to go that way. That's the way I was thinking of. But yeah, I basically went on my way to find some more seashells. I made sure not to grab them, of course. Because, well, that'd be bad if I grab them on screen, right? I need everybody to see my progress so they can actually be impressed. Ha! He thought he could get away from me. Well, do you know, I'm a stubborn prick. Yeah, I forgot there was one of the water here this whole time. I could have gotten this so long ago. But I never would have thought of coming back. Why do I ever want to come back here? This place sucks. <laughs> Dude, this place is awful. I hate being here. And one I'm actually kind of ashamed I didn't notice. Right where that skull was. There's another seashell hiding in there, too. I think it's all the ones I discovered when I was exploring randomly. That gives us a 44, though. Yeah, there's a lot of them. I actually feel kind of happy about being able to find all these again. It's great to actually make progress, don't you think? Now, I may as well go back to the crane game one more time, or hope that there's freaking legendary fish there again. I want to be prepared to try to do everything I can. I want to make these people happy. Seriously, where are Taryn and Merrick? I ow! Don't know where the hell they ran off to. I missed both of them. Oh, right, there's another one I forgot about! Hey! Hey, you never would expect to find one in fucking one of these homes. Yep. There's a seashell hiding here in Chow Chow's, um, den, I guess. Whatever the hell you want to call it. A den? Yes, it's a den. It's a little poor home for the poor little, but for the poor little doggy. Poor doggy. Well, I'm sure she'll be just fine. Now, if you'll excuse me, I didn't actually want to come talk to all Ryra, but... But I'd be a writer here. Uh, yes, but I was a, just a lad I recruited in a high tower in the mountains. You should go there. Is that over you, boy? Quick! I mean, yeah, I can fly. Rooster, get the fuck out of my way! <laughs> like, he just stands there. What an asshole. You gotta move, dude. This rooster is such a dick. Oh, you don't have another toy for me. I was so hoping you had another figure for me, but I guess that was asking too much. He could be hiding out on me, though. And please don't tell me there's actually another chamber stone to get, because I swear. How many of these things are there? Uh, well, Top will be very happy once I bring these back to him. Well, not like I care. Dompei's just an asshole who wants me to die going through a dungeon anyway. Oh. Hey, at the very least, now I have another dungeon to go through. Thank God. I'm so glad I found this one so quickly. Matter of fact, I can probably end this episode now. We even have a fairy fountain here. Which is nice. There's too many doors. I don't like this place. Too many caverns to wander into. Oh yeah, I guess there's a third fairy bottle. I wonder if I can find that thing. No, I'm gonna worry about it. I'll save in front of a fairy for once. It makes me feel very safe. Yeah, I hope it does. I hope for your sake it does. Well, let's end this episode here. We found our way to the Eagle's Tower. So come back next time. And we'll do just that. Go to Eagle's Tower and conquer yet another level. In order to get ourselves closer to actually saving this island from certain disaster from nightmares, I guess. Yeah. Man, I didn't realize how much this 
game really talks about dreams. It really, it's like dreams really matter a lot to this place. Fucking Mario, man. When I wake up, I am gonna smash him so hard. As in kill him, you know, Smash Brothers. It's a Smash Brothers joke. I, that's what I mean, I'm telling you.